President Biden is scheduled to address the nation tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time in front of the U.S. Capitol. It is not an event, uh, official White House event. This is an event sponsored by the Democrat National Committee, by the DNC. It will focus yet again. We've already had this speech once. The scary speech. We'll focus on the threat of election deniers and, quote, those who seek to undermine faith in voting in democracy less than a week uh, before uh, voters head to the polls on election day while while people are voting as we speak. So Biden's going to make a speech to focus on the threats to democracy ahead of the midterms. I would argue that making a political speech on the steps of the Capitol five days out may be a threat to democracy in this sense. OK, it's purely political. It's not a threat the to NC democracy, sponsor. actually. It's just let's call it what it is. It's a political speech to, to made to look official to make it. Well, well, well he's the president. Like you but said, it's made to president. look like an official event. Correct. It's not. Even though it's, it's a, a Democrat political speech. But I think it's a sign of desperation. Andy. I think it's a sign of desperation. Well, it is a sign of desperation. I mean, here the president of the United States comes out less than a week before the election to make these ridiculous accusations against his opponents, his political opponents, standing there uh, with the seal of the president of the United States yes. and all the authority Behind of the, the office. And, and he's in what military is in the background, I think he had in one case, yes, yes. you know, making these uh, outrageous statements about us. And that's what it is. It is obviously they thought, OK, we didn't we weren't successful with this in September. The polls are looking horrible. What can we do? We're going to throw out the Donald Trump stuff. We're going to throw out the mag- mega mega, I guess, this time. you know, it, 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 First, it was ultra mega. Yeah, now it's mega mega. Then people started wearing that shirt. Which sounds so like, a, which sounds like a, 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 a lottery thing. It just started to sound goofy. <laughs> right. it, sounds mega go- mega. it sounds goofy. And, but and, the whole thing sounds goofy. Doing another speech in this venue. Well. No. Let's be honest. I mean, no, he this does not go to his strong suit. This is going after the small group of independent voters. They think they still have an opportunity to persuade moms, uh, maybe grandmas too, who think, oh, if we elect these wild Republicans, this is, this is we're going to have more of these attacks like on our politicians and elected officials, and then it's just going to be chaos. But what's really caused the chaos in our country? What's been the, the, the fact? It's been the economy. And it's been bad, uh, to get interest bad rates foreign policy to get as well. I mean, right. So I think, again, if this is where they are, it is a good sign for Republicans. But you do have to watch because, again, people will see the clips. Yep. Most people won't see the whole speech uh, it's because it's pretty early, actually, for, for an evening address, 7 p.m. Eastern time. But they'll see the clips. Will he look strong? Will he be able to de- even deliver the message? And will the optics uh, be something the American people accept? Don't be shocked. If tonight he says democracy is at stake because the pro-life view is starting to gain real stream and Roe versus Wade has been overturned, I will not be shocked, Jordan, if he says that. No, I think all of those will be a part. It's to be the the Supreme Court. He'll be an attack on the Supreme Court, which is an attack on Republican senators, and it'll be an attack on uh, activists, uh, Republican and conservative activists. I th- what he's trying to do is demonize half the country, and about half the country, and he's playing for. And this obviously the Democrats, liberals will like it. You know, I mean, they they thought the last one though didn't go over well. But the idea is that if this goes over well with your base, plus you can scare some people. First of all, you got to realize it's a reset, like you said. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're doing this again. Now you also have to realize this is being done one week, less than a week out from the election. So they're not doing this because they feel confident going into next Tuesday on how they're going to do. So he wants to. It's going to be reminding the American people of what was going on. That I think that's fair to say what this is really going to be about so you've got this election um a week away less than a week away and you've got the administration saying we've got to re-galvanize re re-establish kind of the our our base here we're going to remind them all of the horrible things of january 6th and the threats to democracy and it's going to be like the speech he did in philadelphia maybe they won't use red lights but all the networks are going to cover it you know that all the networks are going to cover it. So understand the politics of what's going on here. What Republicans are talking about is the economy, inflation, security, crime, the border, and of course the international issues as well that if, that affect that. Drug crisis we're seeing in America. What are what are what are the Democrats talking about? They're talking about Republicans. You're going to have more people yeah. say saying, you know what, enough with this guy.